As hunters, hunting new ground should be one of the things that gets us most excited. Seeing new country like this, especially while hunting, doesn't get much better. This week, I'm in western Wyoming. I'm backpacking in and I've got one week to try and find a good muley buck that catches my eye. There's outfitters in the area, as well as other hunters. I'll have to be quicker on my feet and use the competition to my advantage. Well guys, I've about summited my hill here. Amazingly, there was only one other truck at the trailhead. Two really cool guys, I saw them and talked to them. And they're camping down at the trailhead, so, so far, cross my fingers, I might have this mountain myself, in a way. But, hiking through some pretty thick brush before I'm able to summit this mountain here um, not too bad of a hike really it's just a little tough with a 70 pound pack on but it's smoky way smoky pretty country that's for sure those guys I talked to this morning said they saw like 30 deer this morning a couple decent bucks in there so that's promising we're gonna try and get up this mountain and find a water source and make a camp. Guys, this is camp. Had to do it pretty quick. It's raining pretty good now. Started off just with a light sprinkle, but it's actually coming down pretty good. So I wanted to kind of show you guys where I'm camped at before it starts raining too hard and before I lose my view. Well guys, there was finally a break in the weather. The rain let up for a little bit and uh, these clouds are trying to break. There's even some brief moments of sunshine breaking through. But, so this is the second time out hiking today. The first time I got rained out, I had to go back to the tent. Um, I'm just out here looking for deer and trying to come up with a game plan for opening morning. Like I said earlier, it's the day before the season opener. And uh, just trying to do what we can with this weather, so. It's all you can do. Well, guys, this is the first year of the trip. It's a little buck. Looks like I'm in the right place though. Good morning everyone. It is five o'clock in the morning and it is opening day. Couldn't be more happy. Unless of course I kill a big buck today. Uh, so I didn't give you guys a lot of details about scouting yesterday. I saw six bucks total. It was a good day, and I saw one in there that was a shooter. Wasn't the biggest. I mean, he wasn't a 180 class buck, but he was a, a good mature five point one that I would probably kill. Uh, it's five o'clock in the morning, and I'm just doing my usual backcountry breakfast, oatmeal and coffee. I want to get on the road here in half an hour, so. It's a good day so far. We uh, It is pretty clear for the most part. No rain last night, so that's good. The weather forecast is calling for rain today at some point, 40% chance. Uh, 
couldn't be more excited to get on the road. I slept really good. I got a good fire going in here. That's always a morale booster when you wake up warm, have some coffee and some breakfast. And so we'll get going on the road here and we'll hopefully be into some bucks before we know it. guys I got a buck in this small patch of trees that you see um, I couldn't tell how good his rack was before he went into the trees I've got two bucks down on the other end of this valley too both of which I think are pretty small there's one branch antler buck but um, I think he's pretty small I've let yet to lay eyes on this buck in these trees though so I'm just waiting for him to come out but I got a big cloud rolling in so I think we're just gonna be playing this game all day somewhere right in there in those trees So it stopped raining, but it started hailing. I've been waiting out at this spot all day long to uh, watch these two bucks walk out. And been acting like it's gonna storm for quite a while now and it's finally, finally letting loose. So I'm trying to take cover in these trees here. It's not exactly doing the trick. Just uh, doing what we can. Weather has not exactly been cooperating on this trip. So that's how it goes. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll keep most of these other hunters out of here, so who knows. <laughs> So even though that looks like good, clean spring water, I'm still filtering all my water. I got this new um, bladder here from Hydropack. So far, I'm in love with it. It packs down to smaller than a baseball and weighs absolutely nothing. And then I got this filter from Catadyne. It threads right under the top of that bladder. That bladder is three liters, by the way. I believe a gallon is 3.7. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, even though that water looks so good, I've seen some nasty shit swimming around in there, so I still filter all my water. And I'm loving this new Hydro Pack bladder here and the new Catadon filter. I just got this before this trip, specifically for this trip, so.
And actually, this is the best creek I've found yet. Uh, the other creeks that I was filling up out of, I was filtering it and using tablets just to be on the safe side. So I'll go fill that up all the way and take this home with me. That's what I've been doing every day. Taking this thing back to the tent and a full 48 ounce Nalgene. And I have another 32 ounce Nalgene full there. So, you know, that lets me get all the water I need for my freeze dried food and coffee, everything. So it's been working out well. The first real nice day I had, and these mountains came alive. I only saw a few bucks, but from big to small, there was life everywhere. You never know what all you're going to encounter hunting, especially in new territory. This is just one of those days where I tried damn hard soaking up all these mountains had to offer. Guys, this happened so fast. I tried getting my camera out as I was getting my camera out. Uh, I spotted three deer 300 yards. They, they started getting spooky as I was trying to get my tripod and my camera out. Uh, so I abandoned the camera idea, got on the rifle and shot this thing. High lunged him at 300 yards while he was running. So I was pretty pumped about that shot. Uh, he did run about 60 yards, died right down here in this field. So. I'm not complaining. Not the biggest buck I've ever killed, but he's one of two shooter bucks, if you will, that I've seen on this trip. This trip's been whooping my butt. It's been raining every day, hailing every day. My boots are soaked. My pants and gaiters have been soaked most days. I'm more than happy with this buck. I think he's gonna make a nice addition to my son's room. So pumped. Well guys, he's all boned out. I'm starting my pack back to camp now. I've got the whole deer on my back, mostly the whole deer. Uh, the exit wound on the front right shoulder did a little damage, but I primarily got all the meat and got the head on here. And we are taking off, heading back to camp. We've got about a mile and a half to go. Not too bad. So we'll probably be getting back to camp as soon as it's getting dark. So good night. Couldn't be happier right now. Way pumped. Good start to uh, 2022 for me. So I've got a bull elk tag left and a buck antelope tag. My wife has got a cow elk tag as well. So hopefully we'll get some more films out for you guys. Well guys, I made it into camp last night. 
at about 9 30 10 o'clock yeah the hike out took a little bit longer than i wanted to uh this is camp i slept in to like 7 30 but this is the view out my front door right here So, I got back into camp today about 4 o'clock after taking the deer meat down to my truck and getting it in the cooler. So it's time for some dinner. Oh, we're going. We're going. Tonight, on the menu is chicken alfredo. And then we're having some real food, deer tenderloins. Got a good fire going over there. So we're gonna get this rolling. All right guys, I'm digging into this because I can't wait any longer. Whew. Yeah, that's hot. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Guys, that is so good. If you've never eaten deer or elk, antelope, Antelope kind of gets a bad rap. A lot of people don't know how to cook it though. That is so good. Yeah, there's a bull bugling in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Mm. There is nothing I would rather be eating right now than deer tenderloin cooked on a stick over a fire. It does not get any better than that. Oh my gosh. There is no place I'd rather be right now. After eating that tenderloin, Listening to these bulls bugle in the background. This fire, the sunset. It's not very often all the stars align like this, but you really gotta appreciate when they do. It's just a perfect cap, a perfect ending to this trip. And I couldn't be more grateful. Well guys, I'm all packed up. I've got a three mile hike out of here to get back to the truck. Pretty good uphill uh, for the first part and then downhill the rest of the way. I had such a blast on this trip. The whole experience was amazing. Uh, I wish I could have got the shot on film. That's just how it goes solo hunting sometimes. You know, it's, it's hard hunting out here, period, let alone trying to capture it all on film. I've got an elk hunt coming up in less than two weeks that I'll be getting on film and then an antelope hunt right after that and then my wife has a, uh, a late cow elk tag that I'll be making a video for as well. I had such a blast up here. You know, it, lots of highs, lots of lows. I was stuck in my tent the first three days basically because of rain and that was pretty, uh, <laughs> just uh, a pretty good mood killer right there. Uh, but finally the, the weather let up and we were able to capitalize. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.